And what is going on everybody, I'm Ziggly Toasty here, and today we're playing some more CSR Classics. There isn't really a topic to this episode, other than the fact that I'm getting a lot of requests to play this game, and I'm trying to find reasons to play this game. So, without further ado, let's get to playing. Um, I... By the way, let me, uh, before, I, before anything happens, let me show you what I've been doing to the Roadrunner. Off camera, I've been modifying it a little bit. I put all stage 4 parts, which I think I did in the last episode, and I also put stage 5 restoration and tires. I'm not gonna make a. I'm not gonna finish the storyline until I buy all stage 5 parts. And I'm holding back on that just for the simple fact that I want to, um. Um, what was I gonna say? I was. I, I wanna do it off camera, and I wanna do it in a good area. With, with the money thing, like I know I have three million dollars, but once I start getting really into modifying this, that's gonna go to like one million or maybe even less than that. And honestly, I just like having a lot of money in this game because it gives me a little bit of wiggle room to, you know, modify things. Okay, so, the area I like to have in this game is around 5 million to like, 4 million, 4.5 million. I tend to dip down to 3.5 million in this game, but, you know, I try not to. I try to stick between 4 and 5. So, around 4 million to 5 million is when I'll start like, messing around with stuff. I'll start really getting into it around 4.5 to 5 million. 4 million is just a rough estimate on where I want to be. So anyways, um, what up, what I had a I had one single topic that I wanted to talk about and I don't even remember it. That's why I've been kind of stuttering a little bit. Not because I'm not because it's midnight, but you know, I had a topic and I'm trying to remember what it was. But anyways, you know what? Actually, no, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go. Actually, wait. Which one was it? Let's go all the way to the tier 1 class. And it's... Oh, I can just choose any car. Alright, so... Uh... Do, do, do. Let's drive the... Wow, that one's underpowered. Okay, let's drive the... Let's drive the B series. I haven't driven a truck in a minute. So... Whether it's in any of the games, uh, FR Legend doesn't have a truck, neither does Drift Max. Pixel Car Racer does, but I'm currently planning a video with a truck. Oh, no nitrous upgrades allowed. Alright, let's just go to upgrade section. Uh, yeah, I've been planning a video with a truck, like a truck build. But, you know, that hasn't came out yet, obviously. Or... As I'm recording this, but yeah, you once it comes out, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a good video. Trust me. It's not that I like. It's not that it's gonna be a complicated video. It's just a matter of fact that I don't exactly know how I'm gonna do it. Wow, this is slow. I forgot how slow tier one cars are. I swear, I was going to take a whole video just to do this quarter mile. Dang. Maybe I'll go grab something else real quick. Something that launches a little better. Oh, I already took the NOS off this real quick. So, let me just put all that back. There we go. My cars. Uh, Actually, you know what? Let's go with a Mini. That thing launches real good. Upgrades. Um, 
Let's go with blue. No, let's go with blue. Actually, what's this green look like? I'm gonna go white. I don't know why it was so difficult for me to choose a color, but I did. I keep forgetting about the nitrous upgrades. Forgive me. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Now, let's go race. Wheel spin, but still have a pretty good launch. I keep wanting to double tap it because that's how it is a pixel car racer, and that's how the uh, the Roadrunner is in this game. But I keep forgetting I'm driving a tier one car. Sometimes I feel like I've got. Run away. I, I butchered those lyrics. Okay. Um, man, I really can't remember what I was going to talk about. I had a little topic just, you know, just to toss in the video, and I don't remember it. Perfect start. Perfect shift. Perfect shift. Perfect. Oh, that's a good shift. Alright. Oh! I remember it. I remember it. Um, after this video. Or after this video thing. I wanna, um, I wanna buy a new phone. I don't know, I've been researching a lot, and honestly, I, wait, with the price range I'm working on, with the price range I have, you know, to work with, and the phone plan I have, like the company, Boost Mobile, I think I'm gonna go and buy the LG Stylo 4. I've heard really good reviews on it, or at least decent from, uh, decent reviews on it. And it's in my price range. I can get it with my phone plan, or rather my phone company. So, I think I might pick one up soon. I don't know. I'm thinking about it, but like at the same time, it's kind of in the back of my head like, well, why am I getting... Like, I need the new phone and all for, like, my content and stuff like that, but, like, why not wait till this one breaks? But at the same time, I've had this phone for two years, and it still hasn't broken yet. It still works just fine. I don't know. I'm kind of fighting myself on it. I really want the phone. I can afford it. Well, I can't really afford it. As Jay-Z said, you can't afford something until you can buy it twice, and I can't buy this twice. So, I can't really afford it. Oh, okay, I physically can, but on those guidelines, I can't. I can't buy it twice, is what I mean. But it's still in my price range, if I'm going to buy it. Um, it fits all the requirements I need. It has a decent camera, decent audio. It records games pretty well, or at least processes games pretty well. Um, yeah. I'm thinking of picking one up, but at the same time, like I just said, I'm fighting myself because this phone's still working, it's still doing what I need it to do. The only reason I'm... The only reason I don't... Need... Ugh. The only problems I have with this phone is that the processing kind of sucks with some games. It has little to no storage. You know, in case I wanted to buy another game... In case I wanted to get another game. And the camera is physically shattered. Like, if I was to take a photo right now, it would show, uh, glass shards. Like, I can use a selfie camera and all, but, again, it's like recording with a potato. It, it's terrible. So, I don't know. I'm kind of fighting myself on it. But if I'm gonna buy a new phone, this is probably the one I'm gonna get. The LG Stylo 4. If you have that phone, if you own that phone... Tell me down in the comment section if it's good. Because all the reviews I've seen, uh, they all they all talk good about it. So, I don't know. Easy.
you know, with the Mini Cooper I was just driving right now, and then this car, most of this video is going to be front-wheel drive cars. I just realized that. Hmm. Okay, then. I don't know. I don't know about the phone thing. I want to get it. It's a really good phone. It'll do what I need it to do, plus more. But at the same time, this is still a good phone. And if that one breaks, it's not going to be like this $40 thing. Because right now, if this phone is to break, I can get the exact same one, or at least one similar, for $40. I bought this phone for $40 at Walmart near my house. So, give me a second. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the phone. This is a good one. This is a $40 phone. It's working just fine. I, I just don't know. Like, so the content I'm doing right now, this phone is working just fine. Or at least I think it's working just fine. But if I wanted to branch out with, like, IRL videos, you know, with, like, my actual camera, or if I wanted to get more sophisticated games, or if I wanted to get more games, have more variety on the channel, I would have to get this new phone just because this one's terrible. This one's, I mean, in that aspect, again, this phone is really good. For $40, at least. Actually, it's good for, it's good for more than $40. Yeah, I bought it for $40, but it still works really good. And right now, I'm just waiting for this next thing of gas to replenish. So, you know. Hopefully soon, I can... Hopefully soon I can convince myself to either get this phone or not. I'm like teeter-tottering on the idea of getting it or not getting it, getting it or not getting it, waiting or not. Because, again, it's $140, $150 if I get it from the Boost store. If I get it from a Walmart, it's like $130. That's quite a bit. That's, that's uh, more than double this phone. That's for sure. That's actually three times this phone. That's three times the price of this phone. So, I don't even know. And then watch. I'm, watch, I'm gonna buy that one, I'm gonna break it, and I'm not gonna have enough money to buy a new one, so I'm gonna have to go back to this $40 one. Because this phone's been working really good. I've had it the whole, my whole YouTube career. And it's been working just fine. It... I mean, again, it's not perfect, it's not the best thing I can do, not the best content I can do, but it's working just fine, y'all y'all seem to enjoy it, uh, so hopefully, hopefully some can convince me whether or not I should or not, maybe y'all, maybe y'all can convince me, I don't know, like I said, if you have a, if you have an LG Style 04, Talk to me down in the comment section. Hopefully I can get some advice from you whether or not to get it. Right now I have a... I have a ZTE something. I don't know. But anyways, I'm in this video here before I bore you to death with just talking about a, a phone. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you disliked the video, leave a dislike. Tell me down in the comment section why you liked or disliked the video. Also in the comments, tell me questions, comments, or... Why do I keep saying that? Ah, talk to me down in the comment section. I love giving thumbs up, hearts, and positive and all-around good replies to positive, supportive, and all-around good comments. But I'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's quite mean, and I'm all about spreading positivity. If you want positive content, go down in the description and go to my Twitter. In the description, above that Twitter account, is my two Instagram accounts. Instagram number one, the top one, is my main for myself and for the channel, so if you want to keep up to date with me or the channel, go follow that one. 
Uh, you're already here, you like cars, hopefully you like trucks too. Uh, go down to the second Instagram account, which is the one below it, between the top one and the Twitter. Uh, it's just filled with nothing but cars and trucks. So hopefully you like a lot of the hopefully you like a lot of the content because you're gonna find a, you're gonna find something that you like. But hopefully you like a lot of it and hit that follow button. It really does help. Speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I post every other day, but not at that time. So that's what you're gonna need the bell icon for. I hope you liked the video, and thanks for watching.